No, that's just the noon time. Uh, they blow the air out of the the horns here in Moore, Oklahoma, in this whole area. It's just to uh, every 12 o'clock on Saturday, they test the uh, the sirens because you know tornado season is just a month and a half away. So <laughs> it'll be off here in a second. <laughs> I promise. So I got the uh, I got the six Renogy RNG 100D panels all framed and bolted together and staked down. And I'm going to go through here and show you some of the uh, work that I did and some pointers too. I found some stuff out. So let's get this camera. Dun, dun, dun. See, nice and quiet. I told you it'd be nice and quiet back here. I got some stakes in the front there that is banged down very, very gently. Okay. Oh yeah, it's about, <laughs> it's noon and I'm making over 500 watts with this array. This super strut is great stuff from Lowe's. Good, good, strong stuff. And I stake this down about eight inches and grade nine bolts here in a little L bracket right here. Just bolted them up here and you know it's good and this ain't going anywhere. But this is a temporary setup until I can get it over there in the corner and up high and pivoting because that's where it's going to be. Just about the size of the eight foot fence there. And then the winter will be like this, and the summertime will be like this. One thing I did learn uh, putting this, you know, here on the, on the deck is that this stuff is really, really good. The super strut for right against the solar panel. But I need the, the bigger box stuff for the backbone material here because this stuff is a little bit on the flimsy side it's strong but it's got a little bit too much play so I'm gonna go to Lowe's and luckily it's not that expensive so I'll pick up three 10 foot sections here and with the boxed you know this is gonna this was right here was gonna be my pivot I can put that rod right through the box which I think is gonna be cool 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 um, for protection instead of using U-bolt clamps and all that stuff. Here's my spaghetti wire in there, which is which is okay for now. I'm gonna need some more of these zip strip tie strap dealy whackers. I needed to learn to buy those by the hundred because <laughs> I use the living snot out of them. And they make a mess. And this stuff is really great too. This, uh, I don't know what you call it. You know, stuff you use for like bread and stuff, but heavy duty, camping, tie down, something or other. But safety first, you know, I got a lot of flagging tape up for tripping hazards. God, what's that dude doing in my neighborhood? God dang. But, uh, yeah, it turned out really good. Very, very happy. It really wasn't that bad. It's just like working in the 1970s on your erector set. And I gotta fix this up a little bit. I just got some garden wire holding that down. That's not gonna, that's not gonna do it. I gotta fix that. But uh, here we have it. A little tripping hazard mitigated there. <laughs> or at least I tried to. But there's the panels. And there's Mr. Sun coming down on my panels. All right, guys, have a great Saturday, and don't forget to watch the Super Bowl on Sunday. I'm going to try to get as much stuff done today on Sunday or on Saturday, so I can just completely veg out on Sunday. And uh, another shout out to Kenny Vier, KVUSMC. He gave me a call this morning and had some good pointers on making movies and or videos and also some really good ideas for this too so 
All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Later.